On today's episode, we're talking about what in the heck is title insurance? Answering your questions and giving you a title one-on-one. Stay tuned. Hi, everybody. I'm P- Realtor Peter Toring with Cobalt Banker here in Macomb, Michigan. And today we're going to talk about title insurance. We know we've got to have it. Uh, but really, what does it mean? Who pays for it? Uh, and what are kind of the basics of this? Now, I'm not a title agent, but I deal with this enough to kind of give you a primer on it. So there are actually two types of title insurances here in the state of Michigan. There's two policies. Uh, the first policy is what we call an owner's policy. This is normally paid for by the seller of a property. And what this is, is a title search is done going back uh, 40 years, seeing if there are any liens on the property that haven't been paid off, any city assessments, any back taxes due, uh, are there any ownership disputes. And this title policy is actually going to protect uh, you as a buyer or seller from any claims against that property, whether it's any you know any monetary damage that would come from that. So whether that's uh, the previous seller's Uncle Bob who comes over and says, I think I have an interest in this property, or whether it's from a general contractor comes back and says, hey, you know, there were, uh, we put a mechanics lien on this house and there's unpaid repairs. Uh, or if the city assessor comes through and says, hey, by the way, you guys haven't paid your property taxes in 10 years, you owe us money. Title insurance searches are designed to um, keep you safe from all these. So I know it seems uh, tedious. And I know it seems uh, maybe unnecessary. Maybe you said, well, this you know, house only had uh, one owner, or maybe this you know house was it, it, new construction. We've seen things pop up in title searches all over the place. We've seen it on new construction. We've seen it on one owner houses. Um, we had a situation with new construction that there was uh, an unpaid land contract to a developer. To a developer, we've we've seen all sorts of things. So it is important, and it certainly can save you a lot of headache down the road. Now, there's also a policy that you would pay for as a buyer, and that is called your lender's policy. And what that does is that's going to insure your lender. So you don't have to have this if, you, if you're paying cash for a home or if you're buying a land contract. But if you are getting a mortgage, you need to obtain a lender's policy. And that's actually going to protect your lender in case you do something stupid like not pay your taxes or uh, get a, uh, a mechanics lien on your house that you don't pay off. And in the event that you default, this makes sure that your lender is going to be paid off first. So uh, rates are pretty standard throughout the state. That would be something that you'd want to check in with your local title agency about. You could certainly ask me. Um, but hopefully this gives you just a little bit better insight into what, what does title do? Why do I need it? And uh, why are there two policies? The other thing that you might notice is these might be handled by two separate title companies. Just like everything else, we have our own preferred vendors that we like to use, people who we think do a good job. Uh, and so you might see two title companies handling this closing. And that's okay. It happens all the time. It's nothing to worry about. You also might see some documents that are the same from both title companies. That's okay too. If you ever have any questions on any of your documents and your title people, you can always ask us or we can put you in touch with someone who can. Thanks so much guys for listening and we'll talk to you next time.